Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video and uh, today I have some very exciting news. Uh, this all has to deal with uh, the upcoming live event and uh, actually the live event was not confirmed until uh, I'd say yesterday cause, because uh, yesterday uh, Asimo updated their um, game description or like bad to see in Asimo and as you can see right here Live event plus upcoming update late April. Stay tuned. So this already confirms the live event. And this means so we will be getting a live event and a huge update. Uh, and there are some leaks for this live event. So uh, I will be showing one in game right now. <laughs> So of course I'm talking about the leak that when it's nighttime a vehicle um, pops up right here. It's an old Model 3 so I'm going to just try to... Um, let me see if I can actually change the time. Time... Uh, wait, let me see like that. I can not do that. Wait, maybe it works with Rain 2. And otherwise, I'll just have to wait here till it spawns. Alright guys, so as you can see right here, it actually spawned. Um, there is also some audio with it, so it's like the, uh, it's a, like a Model 3 that spawns on top of the, um, garage uh it's not solid either you can just walk through it as you can see but it has like these these i don't know like back to the future thingies and that's and it also like phases away again uh just like that so this is actually one of the leaks so it, it the the event probably has something to do with time uh but i'll come back on that later the reason why I'm coming back on that later is because first I want to talk about this tr uh, tweet from a seamer right here. He said, working on live events is so much fun. Excited for you guys. Hope we can do it justice. We set the bar high. So this means that they actually, they are actually actively working on a live event instead of working on uh, like on the their other game, Rocketers. Or Rocketeers, how you, I don't know how to pronounce it. But something else that I want to point out is that as they said right here, they have set the bar high. And I think something to prove uh, that which also proves it is that Simo uh, also tweeted that he, um, the, that they, uh, their game, Jailbreak, got invited to participate in the hunt. But that they declined it. Um, and so that is why I think they're actually working like a lot, but actually a lot on this live event. So as you can see, some YouTubers like Nito said, I'm so excited. Uh, then people say the audio. Uh, so like, wait, there were some uh, questions about the uh, audio since, well, last, uh, last time right here, the audio uh, didn't work on the live event. Uh, so yeah, that's basically, I think that's why they worked so hard on that, to make everything, like, p as perfect as it can be. Um, so that is basically something I actually wanted to point out. Also that they actually declined, uh, the, the hunt event to participate in it. And since it's like, uh, it's the first actually big, huge event, um, that Roblox organized. Except for the Black Sea Awards, of course. Um, and so basically the reason why, uh, so there are a few theories and leaks about what the live event, um, actually will be about. And it's almost certain that there, that it will have, uh, that it will have to do with time. Cause well, you've seen like the car coming back from the, like from the past, probably, um, that it comes to the future. So there is a theory that's, and some people say that uh, 
the CEO actually uh, built a time machine and let uh, everything go back to like the OG map and like hold the map will get go back to like the OG map. But honestly, I think that that is not the case. So I actually have thought about it and like a Seymour and Betsy C and all of their like mothers and everything uh, worked so hard on creating the whole map. So why would they actually like, uh, w well, make that everything disappear and just get go back to the old small map, right? So I ac actually think that instead of going to the past, we go to the future. So we do a time travel where everything is more advanced. And that's basically because, well, they have stopped updating monthly and they also did a uh, tweet about that but so Bedimo tweeted like uh, about that it's on screen right now so they tweeted this and as you can see um, they have tweeted that they will uh, stop monthly updates but they also uh, don't want to actually like just leave the game as it is so I think they're going to update the game so after the live event there will be a, a huge update that will update like that will fill this this part of the map since it's almost like empty and revamp some things where like everything is like more advanced and that is actually like a theory that i've came up with and that i actually think that might be true so i think instead of going back they just fast forward to the future and give us a few features so they can actually leave us like leave the game like that for a few months and then w once there is a big update needed or once they feel like it's time for a new big update they can do that so every update will be a big update so, uh, update something to actually that's worth talking about you know so that's actually what i think um that is going to happen and well yeah thank you so much for watching this video let, let let me know what you think uh, in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next video. Bye.